So FM22 has just fully released. The full game is out now. And I've got a tactic that I think you can have so, so much fun with in this year's game. It's the 4-2-1-3 overload. And I think it's sensational. Here it is. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Clates and today I'm going to bring you a tactics video. Last year, in well, in last year's game, FM21, I brought you the 442 and you guys seem to really love that. You enjoyed it. It was a great tactic. It worked really well. I used it all the way, well, not all the way, but a lot of the way through my Hereford save. This year, we've been working, one or two of us, the backroom staff, if you like, on a super fun tactic. It's a 4-2-1-3, so three strikers, and we're calling it the overload because those three strikers, they do just seem to overload those defenses, those AI defenses, and you score some fantastic goals, and you can get some really crazy results. I'll show you it today. There's going to be a download link, so you can go and download it and try it in your own saves. As always, if you enjoy it and you, you think it works, then let me know down in the comments, and if you have any questions, then please just ask them because I do try try and get back to you and you know help you out with using it now, i was going to describe it more of a fun tactic there but it's also pretty op as well you can get some great results with it it definitely does work in the save that we're going to jump into today we've managed to finish third with burnley in the premier league in season number two and actually looking at some of the signings they're not massively like we've not signed mbappe or anything to achieve that just players that do the right job in the right roles i've also managed to have success with bournemouth winning things and going invincible and winning the champions league with using this tactic tactic and then had lots of success as well those of us that have been using it with nice in the uh, in the french league too so there's been good results overall it definitely works i'm going to show you it today and uh, hopefully you you guys enjoy it in your saves as well let's jump into this save file all right so here we are then in the save file and this then is the tactic the 4213 overload tactic as you see it's a back four i actually tried using the the wide center backs in the leicester save that i was doing for the beta with limited success so i actually moved to a back four which is kind of where this started to develop from in front of the back four which is going to be a wing back and a wing back on the side i will click on every player just so you can see there are some different player instructions on one or two of these players so of course you can download this tactic too but if you just want to you know copy it and use it because you might be playing on xbox or something like that i will click on them so you can see we're in an, in an attacking mentality we'll go through the player roles first then i'll show you some of the in possession in transition and out of possession instructions as well and then that'll be basically it really it's obviously got set pieces set up and everything on it too which have been super effective so far if you played any of fm22 you'll know that near post corners really really effective that's why i've got players like near Carte, who is six foot something he's got great jumping reach he scores goals he's fast big tall and fast if you want to sign players for any of the tactics that I will bring you here on YouTube, sign big, tall, fast players. It's, it's just the way to go. It's just the way to go. So if we go through, we've got wing backs on support. We've got ball playing defenders, Chris Meppham and Nia Carte. I just looked at Nia Carte there. He is a bit of a beast. That's the type of defender I really like. Dan Axel Zagadou. Think him as well. Always, always a good choice. Um, left footed, left back. Uh, sorry, left footed, left centre backs, right footed, right centre backs. Ideally, that's quite important. Uh, Nick Pope, by the way, in goal here. Sweeper keeper on support. In the midfield too, we've got a box-to-box -box midfielder who is on support. You see his individual instructions there. And then an advanced playmaker on attack. Now, this is a really important point about this tactic. It will be less effective if you don't get this player in there. So you see how we've got Ennis Bardi playing here. The main important thing about Ennis Bardi is the fact that he's got good set piece taking. He's got those 14 corners, those 17 free kick taking attributes. His set pieces are so good that it does buff his player ratings in the matches. So it is important. It's a bit like James Ward-Prowse last year in the 4-4-2. This playmaker role, if they take set pieces, you'll see their, their average ratings will be so much inflated. So much inflated, does that make sense? They will be inflated so much that it kind of carries him in the rest of the team. It is important to uh, to remember that. You see his last five, 7.2. Average rating for the season here, Ennis Bardi, 746 
He was the player that had the second highest average rating in the team. So it's super important to get those set pieces in there. In fact, looking at his stats here, 18 assists in the Premier League, 7.4 overall, five goals, 21 assists in all competitions. He is the guy on those set pieces that is going to be so, so important. He's playing as an advanced playmaker. There you see his uh, instructions to shoot less often on him. In front of him, we've got a shadow striker. I really like the shadow striker role. It seems it was really good in FM21. It seems like it's effective in FM22 as well. Well, I've tried a different, a few different roles here. We've tried the advanced playmaker. We've tried the attacking midfielder. Shadow striker just seems to be the one, you know, even with three strikers, if you like, in front of him, it just seems to be the one. In front of him, then, you see these lovely links, which kind of get very, very messy with all of them there. You've got two pressing forwards on the wings. They almost act like wingers because of their pressing, because they start quite wide anyway. They almost act like your wingers in what is a very narrow tactic, actually. So I've got Mavi, Didi, and Ajorke. Ajorke, again, not necessarily fast, but tall. Very tall players here. He's left-footed, which is important on the left-hand side. Mavavidi is right footed playing on the right hand side. It is, you know, certainly important to remember that. You want one fast one, one tall one. It doesn't really matter which way around you go. And I mean, maybe it's not super important, but I do feel like it is quite important. You want one fast one, one tall one. Ajorke is my tall one. Mavadidi is my slightly faster one here for Burnley. Up front through the middle, Ivan tony has been signed and he's sensational. You see his uh, player instructions there. Also, just to show you on the pressing forwards, mark specific positions. I've got the right-sided striker. Let me get this right. The right-sided striker is marking the left-sided centre-back in the opposition team. They kind of just sit in those spaces then and it's more effective. So something to remember there. Let's just go through the instructions as well then. I'll put these onto the screen so that you can see them. The tempo is extremely high. They run at defence, play for set pieces. We've seen how important they are. Work the ball into the box, the mix crosses, pass into space, play out of defence. The width is standard. We don't really have wingers, so that's why it's standard. And then everything else is pretty much as you will find it. Of course, I've mentioned we are playing on attacking as well. Even with a team like Burnley, they did manage to finish third here. If I just show you the league table, third in the league, 89 points. Could very easily have won the league title this year. Finishing up, I'll just show you one result at the end here. Look, a 3-1 win against Liverpool. It just goes to show how good this tactic can be. It's a very strong season. Going into in transition, we've got counter press, counter. You've got distribute to centre backs and throw it long. Nothing in terms of the goalkeeper in possession. Just leave them to do whatever they need to do. Out of possession, you see here, we've got two very high lines. I say very high, much higher line of engagement and then a higher defensive line rather than much higher. Use the offside trap. Use tighter markings, prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and get stuck in. Quick note on get stuck in. Excellent against the AI. If you're playing in a draft tournament, which is becoming more and more popular these days. Say if you're playing against any of your mates or playing in any of the content creator draft competitions, get stuck in. We'll get you too many yellow cards and it will be an issue. I usually take it off for draft competitions against the AI. You can get away with it. I always have it on. Um, it, I guess, I suppose, if you're getting a load of suspensions, maybe just take that off. But it seems to make the whole thing more effective if you've got your players getting stuck in. And then just to show you some of the set pieces, I've done a set piece video, by the way. I'll pin it above me here or here. Um, go and watch that one. It's all the same set pieces set up in here as well with the near post attacking corners. I'll just go to attacking. You've got your big guy there. Near Carte is our big guy. He scores. In fact, how many goals did he score? And I click on him from here. He managed to get himself nine league goals. That just goes to show how effective it can be. That then is the tactic. I'll just go back to it once again. Go and enjoy it because I really think it's fun. You get to play loads of attacking players, loads of strikers. They're the most players to go and sign anyway, right? That is the 4-2-1-3 overload. Go and try it. Let me know how you get on with it. If there are any questions, get them down below in the comments. Give the video a like if you find this useful, if you want to go and try this out in your saves. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. That's where we'll end it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.